I don't waste time, no, I make time All these people wanna hate fine, I'ma make mine While you sitting there complaining, I'll be training While you sitting there just waiting, I'm creating yeah. yeah, sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable Yeah, ready to go man, lock and load Hey guys, welcome back to Steadfast RC And today I'm gonna be doing something I've wanted to do for a long time and that is swap the motor out of the Gen 8. I've had this thing for probably about three years or so, and the motor, the stock Red Cat motor, the 16 turn 550, just absolutely will not die. That one right there, I've never had it out, and the, the bushings in it are just, they gotta be toast, because the thing will just squeal. You know, when it gets to a certain RPM, it just squeals really loud. Still has decent power, but you can tell it's getting a little bit tired. So, yeah, I'm gonna be swapping it out. And what I'm going to be swapping it out with is kind of what the, the whole episode's about today is, come on, focus, is this Team Brood Pathfinder motor. This is a 540, five-slot, 16-turn motor. So the one that's in here is a 550. This is going to be a 540, but they're both 16-turn. I don't think I'm going to notice any real difference. If anything, the Team Brood should have some more torque because it's got the what's called the torque ring on the outside of it here. The camera's having a heck of a time focusing today, but this extra metal ring on the outside is supposed to provide a stronger magnetic field and uh, make some more torque than a, a motor that doesn't have the torque ring. So for those of you guys that don't know, Team Brood Racing specializes in custom motors and they're right out of Arlington, Washington, which isn't too far away from me. Eddie Goodridge is the guy that runs it. He's just a one-man operation, and he's been making motors since, I think, like 2006. Uh, he used to have sponsored drivers, and they won a lot of big events in racing. And now he's kind of went over into a lot of the crawling stuff, too. So if you guys are looking for a good motor, um, search Team Brood Racing. He's got about every different kind of motor configuration you could imagine, as well as uh, custom motors that he'll build for you on request. So make sure you check out Team Brood Racing if you need a motor. Anyway, let's get on with the install in the Gen 8. Oh, before we do that, the reason um, I'm doing this one, besides the stock motor being wore out, is this is a five-slot motor. All right, guys, that took me about three minutes to get the entire transmission out of the Gen 8. I really like how this thing is set up. You just take off these two cross braces right here, two transmission bolts on this side, two transmission bolts on this side and they're all the same size except for these two that go into the battery tray and one additional mount. It's just real easy to work on. So let's get the cover popped off, get the motor out, and we'll swap in the Team Brood motor. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. So we got the old motor out, and you can actually feel if you push the armature back and forth, there's definitely some slop in there, so it's no wonder this thing was squealing. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay last, stay proud. Some solder on that one. Go ahead and plug the iron so I don't leave it plugged in overnight like I do once in a while. Okay, so I want the logo up if I can. Never running now, never heading south. I'll be spreading now, call it word of mouth. Can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, not what I'm about. Please say anything negative, cause I just wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah. Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use. Alright, guys, got the transmission motor bolted all in. Got a battery hooked up to it. Got the radio turned on. Looks like we got steering in the correct direction, which that shouldn't have changed. And let's see if we got power going the right way. Yep. Oh man, I can already tell you, like, I never used to be able to move that slow with it with the 550 motor that was in it before. That's pretty nice. The other one would build up and kind of like, you know, that kind of thing. You give it a little and it'd be like, bump forward. Oh yeah, this is going to be cool. Let's go out to the trail with it, guys. Yeah, I can already tell you just from the short amount of time I've driven this motor... The low speed control is about double on this compared to what the stock one was. I mean, look at that slow crawl. That's a lot of control. Maybe even get it to go slower. Yeah, there we go. That's just barely crawling. That's pretty cool. Definitely good low speed control.
Another thing I'll say is this thing is way quieter now without that bushings whining on the other old motor. Well, that worked out pretty good. Just one more touch needed here. There we go.